<laughs> Pro boxing fans here with Daniel Dubois. Uh, Daniel, I understand it was your birthday last week. What's the best present you got given? Um, it's probably my first one, life. So um, <laughs> everything else is a bonus. Nice. Um, a nice little present for you. Was winning the Young Boxing uh, uh, Board of the Ye Young Boxer of the Year award. Uh, what does that mean to you? Um, a lot. Is um, you know to get handed a, a, a prestigious award. I can look back on it in in years to come and you know show it's in the record books now. So it's to go in nowhere. And uh, I, I look back on it and with fond memories. A nice belated birthday present for you, presumably, will be the vacant Commonwealth strap. Um, Talk to me about what, what it would mean to you to uh, get your hands on that strap. A lot. Um, it's a big, you know, another title and um, another another big fight. So I've got to come through it and, you know, come through and look good doing it. So it's another challenge for me and I enjoy it. The man you've got to get through is Ebenezer Tete. Um, is there any man that can stand up to that right hand you, you possess? No, I've, not only is there a right hand, I possess a volume of skill and, you know, ability. So... You know, it's all we'll see, I'll see on fight night. Uh, vacant Commonwealth strap, as we said, um, you're following in the footsteps of AJ, Fury, Lennox. What British fighter have you most drawn inspiration from? Uh, probably there's so many. Uh, Lennox, uh, you know, Herbie Hyde even, you know, Bruno. There's a, a, a long list of fighters I look back and and watch upon. Just, you know, the British heavyweight boxing is full of, you know, if you look through the past, even the ones that didn't make it to world level, your your Scott Walsh's, your, there's quite a few of them. So it's full of, I look back on and I can see the history's rich. Uh, speaking of rich, we're quite rich domestically in the heavyweight division. Um, talk to me about who stylistically gives you your toughest night in the heavyweight division domestically? No one. Um, I just, you know, we have we wait and see on, on the fight night, but whoever I'm in front of, I'll work out and deal with. Um, Shed some light on. Let's shed some light on some of the younger guys coming through. Who have you got your eye on at the moment? Is there the next big thing? Would you say in boxing? Any, anyway. Uh, anyway, um, England or anywhere. Um, there's a few. There's quite a few of them. Uh, there's a few Americans over. I heard David Haney's making a lot of noise, and there's a few others. I haven't honestly looked out enough to scope the divisions and what's going on in boxing, but. Yeah, Devin Haney, and there's a few guys out there making noise. Just, just a bit of a personal question. Who do you fight for? Do you fight for yourself? Do you fight for your family? Who do you fight for? I definitely fight for my family and, you know, the people that's put me in this sport and um, to carry on the journey, what I've started a long time ago and finished the job. And, you know, it's, it's ongoing, but, um, you know, the struggles and everything, what we have to endure. So it's just... Um, this is just, you know, a benefit of all the hard work I put in as a young, a young child. So, I'm very grateful. You mentioned your struggles there. I don't know a huge amount about your your story. I know that you were, you came up through the Dell, the famous Dell youth setup. But talk to me about the struggles. Talk to me about what's made you the man that you are. Well, obviously, a lot has to do with my dad and the discipline he put me through as a young child and everything. The way. To be honest, to understand the whole thing, you'd have to experience it first hand. But it was, um, it was quite some stuff. And, you know, my dad, you know, set out in his mind a goal and a mission he wanted he wanted for me. And I'm on that mission now and I won't be stopped. Um, I mentioned Dale Youth there. Of course, it was in the basement of the Grenfell Tower. Can you just, uh, for a moment, tell us what does that gym do for that community and why was it so important to have it rebuilt? Uh... Yeah, all gyms, to be honest, do a lot for the community and the, you know, the obvious is, the obvious things like getting kids off the street and getting them in the gym and letting them focus and, and stuff like that and sp letting so kids can have a, a memory of you know actually trying it out, boxing, what's it all what's it all about and the courage and the bravery and all the hard you know the punishing training sessions that are involved with it. So it's a good experience. Absolutely. Um, and uh, just finally, um, what, just a word on uh, Ebenezer Tete again. Say, what, 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 what's he going to be doing differently that you haven't seen already? Nothing, really. Um, he's going to come with, you know, ambition and, you know, determined to win, I'm sure. So I've got to be on my A game and, you know, look to get him out there in, in, in style. 
Uh, finally, Daniel, we're just doing some quick fire questions today, so I'm gonna fire some stuff at you. Give us the first thing that comes to mind. So, starting with, what is the best way to deal with a Twitter troll? Block them. <laughs> um, what advice would you give yourself five years ago? Five years ago, um, don't be so naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna elaborate on that? <laughs> no, I won't say no more, but don't stop being naughty. <laughs> um, what do you crave most in, when you're in training camp? Food. I like sweet food, chocolates, all that. You know, I love I love sugary food. What job would you do if you weren't a boxer? To be honest, I'd, I love art, and my dad had a my dad has a business, so I'd be working alongside him. And um, uh, who's the best heavyweight in the world? Myself. <laughs> and uh, finally, what, tell us how you're going to win on Saturday, Friday night. A devastating performance. So just devastation. Top man, Daniel. Well, thanks for being to pro boxing fans. Thank you. Thanks,